Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. If you are in the market to buy a house or sell a house, or if you are in the rental market, you're not gonna wanna miss out on this episode because I this is an amazing article. Check this out, it's from Yahoo Finance. I'm gonna have a link to this article down in the description, but it starts housing. The median rent for one bedroom hits $1,450 for a one bedroom. And I'm not talking about New York City or Newport Beach or South Beach, Miami. I'm talking about the median across the country. That is insane, in insane. Here, let's read a little bit. So um, let's talk about the other side of the price argument that's happening in the economy. Rent prices astrom astronomically nationwide. That's thanks to the high demand and also low inventory prices. Expect only to go higher. Yahoo Finance, Danny Romero is here with the data. Danny, what is the breakdown? So here's an interview between Brian Shong and Danny Romero. And here basically um, this lady right here is giving her uh, opinion on what is happening, right? So here we go. So it's not going to get any easier for renters. Don't expect any quick relief when it comes to rent increase. Yeah, um, but it's not going to get much worse after early next year. That's according to the UBS economist, but it is going to slow down, but it is also going to stay elevated through 2024. So it's gonna slow down, but it's gonna stay high. What does this mean to people, you know, basically who own a second property? This is great, right? Especially if you've owned a second property for a long time where, you know, you bought it at a way lower rate, and especially if you were able to re uh, finance your house, you know, during that uh, last year's record low interest rates. If you were able to re, you know, renegotiate your your mortgage, and you bought it a long time ago, and you're getting record high rent, you are looking awesome. You're making a ton of money. Now it sucks for the rental market, absolutely, because remember, with high rent, people can't save as much, right? So it becomes harder for them to buy a house in the future. So that's another problem, right? I'm not a big fan of high rent. The whole idea is that rent should be a little bit lower than home than home mortgages because, you know, the incentive is to buy a house, not to rent forever. And it seems like now with, you know, rent being more in some cases than a mortgage, because I know where I live right now, I can rent out my place for almost a thousand dollars more than what I pay for my mortgage. So when you put that in put that into perspective, I mean that's kind of crazy. So if someone, if I was to rent my house, whoever's moving in here, it's, it's just going to be make it so hard for them to be able to to rent uh, to to save enough for a down payment. You know, I'm very lucky to have been able to buy a house, and uh, it is very important. You know, it, this is this is how you build family wealth. This is how you build uh, generational wealth, right? Now we saw, now we saw in consumer price index, the CPI, the rent climbed 5.8% over the year. And excuse me, which has sparked another economist at JP Morgan to make the call that rental inflation has been strong and is important to monitor given its tendency for persistent and, lar and its large weight in CPI. Now remember, shelter is 32% of overall CPI. With uh, that being said, the shelter components of CPI inflation is derived from housing costs on rents, not pr uh, prices on homes. So as the Fed hike up rates to really dampen down inflation, that causes mortgage rates to jump, which has made homes less affordable, uh, affordable for people. So with the cost of goods being so high, many are really saying, you know, I'm no longer going to be buying a home right now, I'm going to jump into the rental market. And data from Redfin actually showed that about 60,000 home purchases agreements were canceled. That's the biggest contract dump since the pandemic. That's insane. So there's going to be a lot of competition in the rental market. But again, New York topped its list with the most expensive market that they're up 41% over the past year. There's also really high demand in cities like Tennessee and North Carolina. So guys, so if we jump, let's look at that right here. It says we law, um, data shows 60,000 home purchases agreements were canceled. Let's jump into the housing data right real quick. If you jump into houses sold, you could see that the year to year is dropping fairly rapidly. Right now, we are somewhat in line with 2019, right? It, it, in inventory, it's a little bit lower, but in general, it is somewhat in line. If you look at pending sales, 
there it's a little bit there is a little bit of a disparity i would expect pending sales to drop and then this black line to definitely hit you know come closer to this blue line which is 2019 and off into markets as you could see the percentages are coming down right it's becoming harder and harder to buy a house if you look at that median house price sale it's coming down as you could see this is the actual sale all right now listing it's still trying to you know people are still trying to get that high dollar for their house so they're listing it higher but at the end of the day people are you know the ones that are selling are going down in price so this is a great thing look at that slide down this is from year uh, over year so things are changing okay things are changing and the rental market is definitely changing it's a, it's kind of scary to think you know that rent could be so expensive because you know at the end of the day like when this happens guys this is this is uh this really destroys the economy in some ways you know it's good for some people you know but here's the problem like there's a lot of corporations jumping into the real estate market there's a lot of uh, apartment complexes owned by corporations and that to me doesn't necessarily help you and me the little guys the little guys are best when they could own their own house their own apartment their own condo when you're renting and especially renting for corporations it just makes it very difficult to you know get ahead in life when you're paying astronomical rent prices so it, it's it's we're there guys we are in a situation that it's a little bit to me it's looking unsustainable i don't see people's sa i know we have low unemployment but i don't i don't believe that the 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 median uh that that the, the median salaries has gone up definitely not as much as how much housing has gone up or rent so when you put everything together you got higher uh, cost of uh, transportation you know fuel you got higher cost of food now you got higher cost of rent like this is going to suck this country dry. Right? like people are probably now starting to dip into their savings and that's a real big problem that's something that we really have to watch out for now with that said what do you guys think how much is rent in your area has it gone up has it going has it been going down is it getting better please comment down below now listen if you guys do like these videos please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment i'm gonna finish this video up today thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video